Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin, and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. And now we will share in the great thanksgiving. Lift up your hearts and give thanks to God. Blessed are you, O God, who with your word and Holy Spirit created all things and called them good. In Jesus Christ, your word became flesh and dwelt among us. Through Jesus' suffering and death, you took upon yourself our sin and death and destroyed their power forever. You raised from the dead this same Jesus, who now reigns with you in glory. And you poured upon us your Holy Spirit, making us the people of your new covenant. On this night, Jesus sat down with his friends at table. There was nothing magical in the meal, and yet sacredness was found in their togetherness, humanity and divinity co-mingling as they remained present to the promises that bound them. Jesus took bread. He gave thanks to you. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, Jesus took the cup. He gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered and on these gifts that in the breaking of this bread and the drinking from this cup, we may know the presence of the living Christ and be renewed as the body of Christ for the world, redeemed by Christ's blood until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at your table forever. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. So I will share in receiving the elements and I invite you to take your time and share the elements amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. 